Stuff you can do with Node uh, that isn't uh, enterprise DevOpsy uh, boring stuff. This is uh, stuff that you can do at home and play with and see what it, where it lands you. So what we've got here is uh, a device microcontroller called a Tessel. This microcontroller actually runs Node on this little thing. Um, it's not strictly speaking Node. Apparently it's Lua, but it's been it's, I've writ written Node. It's been compiled down. It's been added to here. And I'm going to show you how I've done that. First, I'm giving you a little demo. You can see there's an X, Y, and Z coordinates uh, shifting along all the time there. Um, now, what I also did as part of this uh, little experiment was, if I can get there, oh no, let's go to another window here, and we'll do um, typing with one hand. Uh, and we'll put it into port. 3001, just for old school's sake. Okay, so now, on one tab, I have a bunch of data coming through from my Tesla, from my accelerometer, and in this tab, I'm running a web server, which is just running an HTML page, and I need to go to a browser. So, go to localhost, not that one, 3001. Ooh, can you hear that? I've taken, uh, I've taken, I've taken the, uh, the data from my accelerometer and turned it into sound. And that is what you can do with Node. I'll eat your DevOps for lunch. All right, okay. Does anyone want to see the code? Oh, yeah. If you don't close the window. Okay, so... Um, oh, how do you get the inspector back up here? Oh, never mind that. Let's close that. Ah, go away! Generator sound. Let's close that. Okay, thanks very much. Um, so I'll give, you a quick, I'll give you a quick preview of the code just to sort of uh, prove that it was Node. So um, Tessel uh, to provide, Tessel's nice because it's very modular. Uh, they have this, this is the accelerometer which is plugged in there. I just pulled it out so it's gonna stop working obviously. Uh, it's very light and easy. It's not the only device out there but what's, what's nice about them is they package them and make it easy to program for. They provide a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of node modules that you can code for, and a bunch of sample code, which is this, this is mostly based on. So I have a Tesla app here. Um, I'm running this via my USB, and I, what am I doing? It was a long time ago that I wrote this. Okay, so I'm basically emitting a WebSocket. I'm setting up a WebSocket server, um, which is taking from this, the Tesla serial port. Uh, it's listening on the port and it's doing, it's piping stuff out, and somewhere, I can't remember where, uh, sending it as text, right? Then on, um, the actual hardware is being looked at here. So here's, 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 this is a little bit easier to understand because this is taken from the sample code on the Tesla website. Uh, it's clearly JavaScript, and it's quite clear what it's doing. It's uh, basically listening for the ready and the data events, and it's outputting data from the accelerometer. Fairly straightforward stuff. And then uh, the client side, it's not Node, but it's JavaScript, uh, sound. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably rip this off someone's website or something. Uh, listening on the WebSocket. Uh, um, I've got an audio context running, and then I'm just basically piping what's coming in from the WebSockets. Through to uh, through to the frequency modulators and all these uh, things that you can get into with web audio and creating the R2D2 sound that you get. So that's it. Uh, if you want to have a closer look, I'm willing to share it with you and show you later. I haven't put this on my GitHub or anything yet. This is a Tesla one. I, I, I got this through. Uh, I was a backer in their original sort of fundraiser and got this as a prize. Um, they've they've kind of upped the ante and their performance and they've got uh, the Tesla two is out now. Uh, I don't know much about it. But there are other devices which are worth, if you're interested in writing JavaScript for uh, small devices, um, other than the Raspberry Pi, which is just a small computer, you've got something uh, like the Esperino or the Esperino Pico, which I, whoa, I've got a couple here, and uh, they literally are the size 
you can do you can do cool stuff that you know will output to your old Nokia display there. Um, maybe next time I'll organize it. But this is the device here. It's got a I've soldered a Wi-Fi antenna onto the top of it, but it's basically it's, it's plugged into your USB, or you can get it standalone to run off a battery, and that runs. You can run a little node server on it as well. It's quite, and it's good for putting little sensors around your house or, you know, uh, various things. So uh, it's worth looking at uh, at Esperino, what they what they what they're doing. Uh, uh, Johnny Five, has anyone here heard of Johnny Five? All right, uh, getting getting node onto your, getting JavaScript, running your JavaScript on your um, on your Arduino or other devices via firmware. Um, so, uh, what do they call it? A firmata, which allows you to run it. The code actually runs on your machine, so you have to be tethered. Uh, and just to sort of give a nod to Nodebots in London, no, they haven't had an event for a long time, but look out for them when they do, because it's a really great day of just hacking, hacking on hardware. So that's where I, I did that, at a Nodebots day. Uh, so yeah, that's my little lightning talk. Thank you.